Surveillance is not only a, a problem that affects privacy, but in a place in, as Mexico, in journalists, human rights defenders get killed at rates that you cannot see in many other places in the world. The Citizen Lab published a report in August of 2016 in which they showed uh, how uh, an activist in the United Arab Emirates, Ahmed Mansour, was being targeted with a, a malware from this company, Fenisa Group. A lot of infrastructure of this company, of NSO Group, was dedicated to Mexico that we said, okay, if so many infrastructure of NSO Group is dedicated to Mexico, there must be clients in Mexico, there must be victims in Mexico. We also just make ourselves a question, if I'm the Mexican government and I want to surveil on someone that I shouldn't, who would I do it? And we started trying to build those relationships with them, try to build the trust necessary for, for us to work together to document their cases. And everything kind of spiraled from there. All the evidence points to the Mexican government being behind these attacks and the worst thing is that uh, this technology is being used not against uh, those that are responsible for human rights crimes, not to investigate those have, that have been involved in corruption cases, it's being directed at those that have been particularly key figures in exposing that corruption and exposing those human rights abuses. One of the main problems in Mexico is impunity, is that all these crimes happen and nothing happens to those who are responsible. And I think for the first time we have a really great opportunity to, to get that. Because we have caught the government really with their hands dirty and we have a chance uh, also with the help of international community, etc. to really create a precedent that can also help uh, shed light and end impunity in many other human rights and corruption cases that are going on in Mexico. Mm -hmm.